Welcome to Chris Park in Shooting Sports. Interesting one today. This is in a large box. I wasn't actually 100% sure what was going to be in this box, whether it would be one product or several. It appears to be one product in a very sturdy carry case. Now, it is the new Hike Micro Raptor thermal binocular, but it's not just thermal. This has thermal as well as a laser rangefinder, not too unusual, but it also has daylight and night vision capability through a standard lens. Now, thermal is fantastic for detecting things. Night vision is perhaps a little bit better for actual identification. So, once we've got this open, let's see what is in here, because it's certainly a very sturdy carry case. I'm immediately gonna to have to move this out of the way because you won't be able to see me otherwise. So, Let's look at it in sequence. This is the main unit itself. So that is the large binocular unit. I can immediately see there's a quarter inch UNC thread on the bottom for a tripod mount. On the front here, we've got the large, that's the thermal optic there. We've also got the night vision and the laser rangefinder and an infrared illuminator. Now the whole point of these factors all sandwiched together is the fact that you can obviously identify quarry using your night vision after you've initially picked it up using the thermal, which is of course giving you superb long range detection capability. Now I'll be doing a full review on this at some point and I will be getting out as soon as possible once I've charged everything up. But initial impressions are, just to cover some of the main features, we've got individual lens focus there for each eyepiece. Those obviously go into your face. There's a proximity sensor on the back, which means that it won't light up and illuminate your face unless it is actually against your face like that. Focus for the actual image when you're viewing is on the front here, fairly similar to a normal binocular, and the cost as a carry strap will go through lanyards there. This will record video, it'll record stills. There's a USB-C port there, and further investigation now shows me in the side pocket here we've got the carriage for the batteries. Now this takes three 18650 batteries, which gives you an eight hour run time. I will be very interested in this because I can see here, as well as the carry strap for the case there, we've got a whole armory of 18650 batteries ready to go on board, as well as a charging unit. And what else is in the box? box is so big I can't hold the lid open in front of me. We've got charging plug there, other charging plugs for different sockets, different worldwide markets. So this looks like basically the whole entire charging system. That's the plug, that's the USB-C lead that goes with it. I'll investigate all of this later on. But that looks like a fairly complex charging unit which will actually hold four of the batteries simultaneously and I suspect will give you a fully computerised charging system to maintain full battery capacity and better improve battery life. Those will all load in here, that will load back in there, again one for the main review, we shall look at that. What's in this bag here? This bag looks like it's got the carry strap which will go on the binoculars there and we've got another appears two more sort of padded what are these then i'll be interested to see what these are we shall look at those at a later date when i've read the instructions and found out exactly what they are i'm intrigued by those they almost look like eye patches or something but we shall see pop those back in there hopefully in here there may well be a significantly detailed instruction manual but there doesn't appear to be yet so that's perhaps on an app Ah, no, it's in the top, it's slotted in the lid there. So also in the lid, let me just put some of these back to one side because there's a lot in this box to deal with. We've got a lens cleaning cloth. We have got see the world in a new way, correct. Height Micro Thermal Binocular Micro Raptor Series. That's the quick start instructions. So we'll be going through that at some point. And here we've also got battery charger instructions as well. Now I suspect the battery charger will be complex and it will be pretty much taking care of life for you in terms of all these batteries. 
But just going back to the main unit now, which is of course the point of interest, this is going to give a totally new capability. I've not used um, a thermal imager with a night vision device combined. I've always shot with night vision rifle scopes and spotted with a thermal monocular or a thermal binocular. This looks like it's going to introduce me to a whole new world. Now that is indexed, so it only fits in in one correct direction. I'll just pop that back in. The buttons on top will control the power, they'll control the single shot for stills, photos or video. We look like we've got illuminator controls, uh, we've got magnification controls, mode settings, and there's possibly different controls to switch between the night vision or thermal imaging capability and daylight, of course. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how it applies this because of course, when we're looking at quarry, we can flick between the modes and actually I think there's also a way you can apply a fusion between thermal and night vision to give you the best of both worlds and of course, amazing identification capability. So I'm charging this up and I'm getting out tonight. The supplied charger will top up and care for four batteries simultaneously. Although only three are needed, six are supplied so you have a spare set too. On first arrival at the farm, it was great to see these fallow deer approximately 600 metres away. There are also a lot of hares visible on these freshly drilled fields all the way out to 800 metres in the distance. It's great to see how rich the image quality is on the hick, with superb texture of all intervening foliage and ground. This group of roe deer is approximately 300 metres away. He can see the image fusion of white hot thermal with night vision overlay. Then thermal only in white hot, black hot, fusion, red hot and night vision alone. You can clearly see the full velvet on the head of this robot with two does alongside it, it's approximately 100 metres. This fox is crossing our path 130 metres distant, I didn't have a gun with me on this occasion but it will be back. Focal length is 50 millimeters for a baseline optical magnification of 3.4 times zoom before 1, 2, 4, 8 digital zoom is applied. The internal OLED screen has a 1024 by 768 pixel resolution. With individual eyepiece focus and adjustable interpupillary distance, the Raptor was optically comfortable without undue eye strain. This is a great demonstration of how thermal will pick up partially hidden quarry that night vision alone is almost blind to. Note the image contrast in other palettes and fusion mode. The Raptor RQ50 L Bioculars have a 640 by 480 pixel sensor with sub 20 millikelvin net D rating. The lens is an f0.9 aperture for sharper focusing capability, yet still seems to offer plentiful depth of field for relaxed usage at multiple ranges. I didn't find the need to constantly refocus when scanning the areas between close and long ranges. The smooth picture flow allows all motion to be assessed and when a rat appears close by compared to the hair by the tree, it's easily noted and not just a blur. When I had the rifle, I started paying more attention to the rangefinder function, which gives accurate results. The laser splash is visible in image fusion or night vision modes and coincides perfectly with the on-screen reticle to ping exact locations and quarry ready for the shot. This 40 meter rat stood no chance against the 17 HMR.
This clip illustrates the smooth 25Hz refresh rate on screen with the Rodeo running in to meet its family unit. This is a simple bit of scale on screen, a 6 foot tall 183cm man going to collect quarry down to 137 metres. Another rat, this time at 36 metres. Two family groups of roe deer gave the laser rangefinder a good test past 200 metres, with a close in hair at 66 metres for an additional trial, before ranging the fallow against the tree line 740 metres away. The rangefinder is rated out to 1,000 metres. I got 4 hours of use with 50% of the battery charge remaining on the internal display. Sound and video recording was easy with tactile button presses, as were the rest of the controls that responded without any lag or crashed firmware. Storage capacity for stills or video is 64GB, which was plentiful for my requirements. Well thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, comment and click the notification bell to keep track of my regular uploads. Thank you for watching, bye for now.